All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 3 with your pal Super Turtle here. How are you guys doing today? Let me know down in the comment section how you doing. But guys, last episode, we went ahead and set this bad boy up. I went ahead and did do the floor here, added the support beam, and also found out these inset lights here. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of these. Check these out. These look really good, in my opinion, when they're on the, uh, the, the polished basalt because they have that gray on the outside and they kind of just blend in. And I've gone ahead and replaced every single torch in our in our world here, or not in our world, but in our in our base here with these. Yeah, this is uh, this is bad. Uh, anyway, um, went ahead here, just fixed that. We had to put some of these guys in the roof. As you can see, still looks pretty good up there with the, the black stone. But yeah, the torches are gone, which is amazing. And my intro is saved. Yes, had a fiasco a few days ago with one of my, my backup servers and lost the intro. But anyway, we're good. We got it back. But guys, as you can see, we've got a lot of this latex or this uh, tiny dry rubber thing processed. And the reason we set this up last episode is because we are in desperate need of a tree farm. So let's go ahead to here and we will go ahead and look at that. We have two, two full stacks. Wow. Amazing. Let's go ahead here, smelt this bad boy up. All right, those are getting smelted. We should have quite a few pieces of rubber now. Uh, again, that's not fully automated. It's partially automated. Just got to get the auto crafting and that done. And I have been trying, as you saw the lapis there, I've been trying to get this uh, Fortune 3 upgrade because we are going to need this here in a couple of episodes. So I've been trying to just enchant off camera. Uh, I'm trying to get some Fortune 3 or maybe some for 2 Fortune 2 books or something like that. But uh, it's been it's been eluding me. But today, guys, let's get into Industrial 4 going. All right, so industrial four going. What do we want to have here? So we want, we did these. These are good. We won't be doing these. Won't be worrying about those yet. We are going to need, I think, three of these guys. So we'll worry about those in a second for our power generation for this tree farm. But we're going to need a planter. All right, so we have a plant gatherer here. That's what we're going to need. We have a plant sower. We're not going to do the plant fertilizer just yet because we do need a lot more bone meal. And there's no way to really automate this yet. Uh, if you know a way to automate the bone meal factor of that, other than composters, let me know down in the description. So we're going to go ahead and make a few of these today. Yes. All right, we got all of those except for these guys. All right, that should be everything that we need. Beautiful. Okay, we have our plant gatherer here. All right, we're going to need some iron gears. So let's go ahead and get these. This is for our planter. Yes, so we're going to need a pot. Flower pot. Going to need another piston. We are out of the wood. I wonder if it'll let us use this wood. I'll try it. Oh, I didn't mean to shift click that. Sure will. Beautiful. And then one more of these. And we have our plant sower. Beautiful. Okay, so... Next thing we need to do is go ahead and make some more of these upgrades. Now, we went for the iron one. Um, yes, so we're going to make another one of these guys. This just required the iron ingots, correct. Obakabi, so one, two. Okay, we got all the materials we need. Let's go ahead and throw them in here. This did process a bunch. Oh, we have just shy of the amount that we need. Um <laughs> gonna steal these ones. They did get placed though, that's pretty neat. Okay, here we go. And look at that, we do have a speed upgrade as well. We can go ahead and just throw the this one on our plant gatherer. We might even throw our, our second one too. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a speed too, check it out. All right, so with all of those items collected, we're gonna need some power cables. So let's get into mechanism. We should still have a decent amount. Yep, we have our ultimate speed here. Uh, we do have quite a bit of this cable here. We're actually going to go ahead and upgrade it to the, to the best tier for our farm. Okay, so we got 16 of these guys. Yeah, that transfers a lot of power. All right, here's ButcherBot. It's still here. Figured I should show you for some reason. Oh, that was for gas. I've made a mistake. Oh, well. I thought that was power for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and make a couple of these windmills real quick. Two. 
Okay, so we can only make one of these guys. Hopefully that's enough to get us started. We can always just go ahead and move one of the quarries, especially the one in the nether. Um, but this should be good to go. Okay, so we don't have any more drawers either. So we're going to have to... Uh, things are happening. Okay, so we are actually going to be doing this. Putting it right here. And so... Yes, let's go away from that. I'm going to go ahead and clear out an area for us to do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleared out a little bit of room here. Now, I do want to leave some room between here and where our tree farm is, so we're going to go ahead and just see what kind of range we can get with this plant gatherer. All right. Show working area. Perfect. That is, that is perfect. Let's go ahead and just kind of kind of wall this in oops there's an angry zombie boy oops too far gosh dang it I'm placing blocks too quick okay so this is gonna be the working area for our plant guy Cool. I don't actually think he needs power, just needs plants. But we're going to go ahead and fill this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and chisel this down a little bit so we do have some working area. Okay, so this is our working area down here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this bad boy in now and everything around. We're going to also be getting rid of that over there. We might be putting another farm over there. We never know. Or you never know. I might know. Or you'll, you'll know eventually. Or something. Something along those lines. Just, just let it happen. All right, perfect. So, yes. Going to have our whole elevator thing over here. This is where our guy is going to be chilling. But I mean guy, I mean the plant gatherer. Let's go ahead and set him up. Like so. And then if we do that, yep, it covers the same amount of ground. Amazing. Okay, so it does probably need power. But. Ah, uh, we can only put one speed upgrade in this guy. Sad times, man. Sad times. Okay, so we're going to need a direct cable coming here for our saplings. Um, so what we might end up doing is putting a drawer in between here so we can get up. So we can go ahead and have some free shabaktu. Give me a moment here. I need to design this, and I'll show you guys here in a sec. Okay, so let's think this through real quick. All right, we're going to go ahead and lock this here. We're going to put our saplings in. And then we're going to go like this. So all it can take out is saplings. Perfect. All right, and then we are going to... Ah. Uh, I really do hate that. <sighs> well... Okay, so with that debacle finally over, let's go ahead, and we're going to have to run power. I did go ahead and just make a full stack of these guys, so we're going to probably have to do it like this. The power connects here, kind of comes up here, and then we can run power through the ground. Uh, if we go ahead like this, this isn't the final resting spot, actually. We should probably just line it up. Um, what happens if we place it on here? Oh, it just flat out works. Okay, cool. All right, how much power you be generating? Okay, that might be enough. Let's go ahead and test it out. Might just need to throw like a wireless power thing over here, but I do kind of want this to be on its own separate kind of circuit almost. Okay, so we are getting trees planted, which is good to see. It should actually fill all the way in. All right. And then we're going to make a, the 2 by 2 drawer for this guy. Okay. So we should be able to actually just have it so that it goes like this. We'll go ahead and lock this. And then it should just pull the items that, like, uh, yeah, pull. should just pull the saplings out because the saplings can only go there. Uh, let's get some bone meal and grow a tree to see how well this is working. Okay, so this just became a little bit more difficult. Um, not impossible, but a little bit more difficult. We might have to put a hopper in place. Okay, so now maybe we come into this. Right. 
We lock it. Apples are here. Saplings are there. And then maybe we just do one of this. Okay, that seemed to work. Um, yep, those aren't in there anymore. And then we can just run a cable over here with external storage, and that's where everything is stored. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not really what I had had in mind. It's not as pretty. I mean, it's a lot more simple. I'm not actually the biggest fan of that. Uh, so let's get an external storage going. This guy... Okay, external storage. Now we need a heck ton of cable. Okay. We're just going to run this all the way over here. All right. External storage. Woohoo! All right, it's all connected. This is so janky. <laughs> Just go ahead. Act like it never was here. Look at that. Only you and me know that the cable runs under there. Yeah, so this thing, I guess, supports itself. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty good on power. This thing's pretty good on power. I think it's filling up all the cables here with power. That's why it's not holding anything here. But yeah, tree farm is done. That was a lot easier than I thought. Let's go ahead and fill everything in. We're going to clean this all up and it'll be ready. Okay, so I think I want to go ahead and move forward with the plant fertilizer here. Now we have everything. Let's go ahead and make two of these. Now we do need to go ahead and make one of these guys. A simple machine frame. Uh, so we're going to require one of these guys. Um, let's see here. We're going to need some plastic. Good to go. Uh, we're also going to need some netherrack. Good to go. Then we're going to need some iron. Also good to go. And then what was the bottom? Gold gear. Not good to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So we got all the materials we need. I went to the nether, moved our digital miner. So we can go ahead and pick up some more of the other stuff. Uh, but we have everything we need here for our machine. The machine. All right. So let it. Let's let this thing process up. And we're just going to set up a system to where uh, every time we have bone meal, it'll run. But if we don't have any bone meal, it'll be okay. All right, so that thing is done processing up, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Let's go ahead and shebang. Plant fertilizer. Perfect. Okay, we're going to need a drawer for this. I do have a drawer available. Amazing. Uh, probably going to need some mechanism pipes here. I believe they work. They seem to work. We're going to hope they work. All right. All right, we're also going to need some power cables because uh, I'm all power, baby. All right, ultimate universal cable. Boom. All right, so the cool thing about this guy is that we're just going to put him here. Break this dude, place him here, and then he will receive power from the bottom. Wait a second. They have to sneak this all the way around. All right, there we go. So that is power to this dude. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so he's got power. Amazing. Let's go ahead and put this this guy here. Then we'll put we'll put a, a, this guy here like so. Put him to extract. And yeah, I want to make sure I didn't put that in that somehow. But I don't. I'm looking at back at that now, and I'm like, that's not possible. But don't worry about it. Um. So we're at, whoops. I want that. Actually, we do want that in there. All right, that is completely full. We have way too much for our little guy over here. But if we go ahead. Oh, this guy doesn't have a range add-on. Ah. Yeah. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, let's go make a range add-on for him. All right, range add-on has been successfully crafted up. Let's go ahead and see if this works on the trees, because I almost have a sinking suspicion it might not. Four eighty-seven. Oh, it is working. It is working on the trees. But we need a speed upgrade because upgrades, people, upgrades. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up our bone mill. We do have a bunch more over at our, our farm area over there, our big cobblestone tower. Uh, but this will do for now. Yeah. Got lots. How are we doing on power for these guys? Because this is the one we got to really worry about. And our sticks being put into here just fine? Maybe. How are we doing on saplings? Oh, yeah, we're staying positive. Perfect. So eventually, we will get backed up with saplings. I do have a... If we look here, I do have a void upgrade. So just in case one of these gets too full, we'll start destroying the items. So we will be okay if this gets overloaded with sticks or something like that. Um, this supposed to be that and then we will put this guy on the back there to light up this area beautiful this is working like a dream oh my goodness guys oh my goodness i love it i love it to bits and the cool thing is, is there is acid rain around that might affect our saplings here eventually because it's just a, a mod from better weather um Cool thing is we'll have a backload of saplings that we'll be able to just go and replace all of them when they do get destroyed, so we won't have to really worry about that. Amazing. All right. Unfortunately, guys, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and we made a big progress today of getting the trees. We got automated wood. This will just help us get further into the mod pack, so I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>